Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thanks for tuning in and it's pretty amazing weather today. Appreciate you watching all. And today I'm gonna actually do um, a video about my W126. It's a 1981 300 SD and I'm gonna tell you all the things that are wrong with this car. Uh, so just so you guys know, um, I washed it literally like five days ago, but it's already dirty. So <laughs> uh, don't pay attention to that so much. Uh, and anyways, so I'm gonna probably start with the uh, interior of this car so anyways let's get started on this video don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel das beste oder nichts let's go so like i said guys i'm gonna start with the uh, interior exterior of this car so now uh, this uh this is a midwest car so i spent most of this car spent most of its life in um indiana and uh illinois so it hasn't really been garage kept, you know, that's why it actually has a lot of rust. It has rust uh, right here, like bubbling. Um, quarter panels are kind of like, you know, looking sad. Uh, you know, some dents here and there. Uh, I'm probably gonna be replacing both of these doors on the left side. You know, it's kind of horrible uh, looking here. Um, and then I did put this fender on, but um, I'm not sure. I'm probably gonna put a different one on and obviously the car is gonna get, get a paint job in the future. Um, but as you can see, I put a lot of wheel bearing grease here. So <laughs> kind of like to, you know, make sure it doesn't rust or start rusting or anything like that. Also the jack points, the jack points are looking pretty sad. So uh, those will need to work as well. And uh, you know, the back trunk lid, you know, the, basically the whole car is going to need to be repainted. The whole trunk, the, the, there's a, you know, bubbling right here, kind of around this um, star. Uh, there's a rust spot right there. Uh, also, the bumper doesn't look too good. Uh, from all the salt and all these years, there's, you know, the corrosion does its own thing and bubbling start started right there. And just in general, both, uh, front and rear bumpers will need to be replaced not replaced but just actually taken off and painted especially this you know the silver part because it's really looking horrible uh, and then if we move on to this side um, you know there's a rust spot right there there's, the paint is like you know peeling a clear coat uh, that's like the worst spot right there I put a lot of wheel bearing grease over there right now but uh, it actually rusted away there used to be this this kind of like trim piece in here and this is all dented too so that will need to be probably replaced um, and what else uh, yeah this side was side swept so it looks pretty you know a different color and this right here it's all rust spots you know these are from the doors that actually put on but they were from a different W126 and you know that car was also like you know in midwest so and then the roof doesn't look so bad um uh, then this door there was a, a hole in here so i didn't weld this my friend warren welded it so i'm gonna have to finish it up and then this fender that i put on typical are spots you know where the trim goes to um and then paint the clear coat peeling right here uh, then what else so the headlights look pretty good actually after i restored them uh, and then the turn signals i don't really like how they look some of them have moisture inside and they're kind of like cracked in some spots and actually this side is different from this side because this side actually has is like more like i think it's just faded you know so it looks more uh, orange on this side i should say and then i really don't like how this grill looks i was cleaning it probably what two months ago but right now it looks pretty bad i'll show you why if you can see all these uh rust spots you know forming on this thing so i think uh, we're gonna be using this grill as a spare and what i'm gonna do i'm probably not gonna black it out so it's gonna like I don't think I'm gonna put plastic, I'm probably gonna put some black trim piece uh, paint on it so it's gonna look black and it looks, it's gonna look probably really nice. Um, but yeah, I don't really like that, the rust spots, probably some Chinese uh, grill piece of junk, so 
I'm gonna have to uh, buy a normal original uh, Mercedes part also uh, these mirrors are pretty faded right here used to be a really like dark uh, or black I should say so that will need to be redone and probably have to take the mirrors apart and clean them from inside and you know to make sure that they move smoothly both of them move smoothly but I still want to take them off clean them up also the handles as far as the exterior the handles you know they get faded you know so usually from the factory they're like all nice and black they're not glossy but they're just like black you know it looks really nice when they were brand new yeah. mm. okay so that's as far as the interior exterior um i guess i don't know what else i should say about it uh needs a lot of work actually you know so i actually can't wait guys to start restoring this car i don't know when that's gonna happen but i'm really i have a lot of i have big plans for this car uh, I actually want a, if you guys are looking at this picture, I want my car, this car is probably going to look the same way. It's going to actually, uh, I'm going to, you know, take it all apart and, you know, prepare it for paint pretty much. So, yeah, I can't wait. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty excited, guys. And, of course, I'm going to need to get, you know, all these trims off, trim pieces, you know. And whenever you take off the trim pieces on these cars, you actually have to reattach them uh, using new clips. So I'm going to have to buy new clips. So as far as the undercarriage of this car is actually not so bad. It has a lot of surface rust. It has some, you know, some other rust as well. Actually, the right side is worse. Actually, right side will need to be welded up in a few spots because there's, you know, like the undercoating is like peeling off and it's doesn't look too good you know it's not too bad but it will need to be addressed for sure so that's why my plans in the future is to actually take out the whole interior of the car you know inspect everything whatever needs to be you know fixed or welded I'll have to do that all right now I'm gonna move on to my water leaks guys so this car is actually not so bad as far as the water leaks yeah it does leak some water actually in the trunk after it rains a lot I open the trunk lid and actually there's water in there uh, inside the trunk lid and actually like the water sits not really sits but there's moisture in um, in the trunk pockets but actually recently I don't know if you guys saw the video but recently I actually fixed that up not really fixed it but what I did is I uh, removed uh, those uh, kind of like the carpeting you know the trims from the inside of the trunk to get to the pockets you know inspect the trunk pockets and actually look pretty good you know there's some surface rust here and there but what I did is I cleaned all the moisture out and I put a lot of wheel bearing grease on there you know so in the meantime it's actually not gonna rust out so it's actually a really good idea if you guys haven't watched that video I'll leave the link down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out another thing about the exterior is actually the door seals uh, probably all the doors, door, door seals will need to be, to be replaced. Uh, the trunk seal will need to be replaced. Uh, probably a lot of other seals that are on this car will need to re be replaced. Probably I'll have to replace this uh, sunroof seal as well. Uh, we'll see, but that's the plan. Okay, next. Um, I don't know, maybe I've missed a couple of things, you know, so, you know, the hood is, of course, going to be getting repainted, you know, there's some spots right there that the paint is really peeling off, but anyways let's go right now and talk about the suspension of this car so as you guys know i actually did a lot of work to my front suspension you know i actually have i'm gonna leave my, my playlist down below so you guys can go ahead and watch it but yeah i did a lot of work to the front suspension but it's still not perfect i haven't done everything so uh what i still have left to do is the lower control arm bushings because they're getting bad so i'm gonna have to replace those and i'm gonna need to replace those big guys that are called the uh, um uh, guide rods so there's as you guys know there's a guide rod okay and that guide rod goes uh you know from your lower control arm goes to the side of the body and that's where that guide rod sits and it, it's like basically it's like a big ball joint in there and the boots are torn and it's all worn out it's probably original you know 40 years old so i'm gonna have to replace that obviously alignment will need to get done uh, then as far as the rear, um, I'm gonna have to probably, you know, whenever I start my restoration of this car, I'm gonna actually remove my whole rear uh, subframe. You know, I'm gonna change all the training, trailing arm bushings. Um, and I'm gonna have to do something about my differential because the differential actually leaks from the pinion seals. I'm gonna have to replace those seals. And uh, the differential actually has, I think it has an excessive play, you know, because whenever I decelerate, it clunks in the back and, um, 
uh, there's uh, also I think it has like quite a bit of play so yeah and sometimes whenever it shifts or downshifts it actually likes to clunk too um, so that will all come in the future so that's gonna be a really big restoration project uh, now as far as the brakes uh, the brakes I replaced the brakes all the way around um, I still need to take care of my parking brake parking brake doesn't work uh, so I have to do that uh, it probably just needs an adjustment um, then um, I'm gonna have to replace my uh, rear brake lines because I already replaced the front ones. Actually, the, the front ones I think look pretty okay, pretty fine when I inspected them. Actually, when I I, I remember inspecting the front uh, brake lines, the passenger for the passenger side and for the driver side, and they were actually not too bad, um, you know. And I I think I only replaced the uh, driver side brake line coming from the master cylinder to the caliper. Um, so I replaced that. Uh, I did br actually did brake hoses all the way around, so the flexible brake hoses were replaced. Uh, and then I also did, um, yeah. So the only thing I'm gonna need to worry about is my brake lines coming from the front to the rear, and those two side ones that go to each wheel. There's like a union over there, if you guys know what I'm talking about. And from that union, there's two more brake lines that go to an individual wheel to the uh, left rear and left right I mean I'm sorry the oh my gosh it's been a long day um, right rear and left rear uh, so I'm gonna have to do that um, and then along with that I'm gonna uh, have to remove my fuel tank uh, there's probably a lot of junk in that fuel tank I'm gonna have to clean it up because I you know I keep noticing that there's a lot more junk coming to my fuel pre-filter you know and it's it's not a good thing so that fuel tanks probably needs help so I'm gonna be taking care of that as well and in the meantime I'm gonna have to replace the fuel lines because the fuel steel fuel lines actually closer to the tank are so bad they're like so um, like rusty it's it's horrible so yeah and then uh, that's pretty much it and then like I said guys I'm gonna be removing the rear subframe I'm probably gonna put you know springs in the back and some other stuff uh, brand new springs, probably brand new shocks, you know, probably replace the rear wheel bearings while I'm there. It's pretty easy. Um, so yeah, I can't wait for that restoration project to come finally, you know. I can see my my Ursula on the, uh, you know, on the big surgeon desk, you know. So I'm going to be a surgeon. She's going to be my patient. So I can't wait for that. And probably another thing that I was gonna mention as far as the exterior is, as you guys remember, I was replacing this door. I'll leave the link down below if you guys haven't watched that video. Um, I replaced this door, but it doesn't close well at all. It doesn't open really well because uh, I found out that that um, there was actually a crease and kind of like a small crease in that rocker panel. You can't really see it from the outside, but when you open the door, there's you can kind of see it. So I remember when I found out uh, about that, I was kind of upset, but I'm probably gonna have to, you know, take it to a, maybe a body shop so they can actually like pull some of that stuff out so I can close the door normally. So yeah, but yeah, there's a lot of work on this car that's left, you know, but, and I only mentioned, you know, suspension, brakes and, you know, exterior. There's a lot more things that need to be done on this. And it's funny, everybody's curious what I'm doing. Anyways guys, now we're gonna talk about the interior of this car and uh, I have quite a bit of stuff right now in this car So I'm not gonna go too crazy and show you everything but long story short yeah, the interior needs work front uh, Front leather seats are just you know so worn out. I'll give you a, a peek right here Front seats are just horrible. Okay, so I'm not gonna sh I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do about that probably either replace the whole interior stuff because I have another brown interior But I don't know. I want to keep it black probably I haven't decided yet and uh, Maybe I'll try to restore or do something about it, you know, but that's gonna be future and then some of the door panels are just So horrible. I just keep in mind. I didn't do that. <laughs> that's not me uh, And then it's cracked and then some stuff is missing here and there and somebody put the self tappers in there The dashboard, you know, needs help. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about the dashboard yet whether leave it for now or what um, and then There's you know the car needs cleanup and then that other uh, seat right there is actually pretty bad as well um, and and then this stuff I don't know whoever owned this car it's so bad that like they were probably trying to first pry it out you can see all these marks and they were not you know of 
course they got successful later but they damaged all this thing and then started rusting and then they probably try to reattach it and they used a bunch of glue and it just looks so bad yeah and um, then there's some other things uh, probably I'll be pulling the dash out I guess uh, you know I'm gonna probably also change the steering wheel doesn't look too good um, then I'm probably gonna if I decide to pull the dashboard I'm gonna have to you know I'll probably replace those um, AC not AC but just climate control uh, vacuum like actuators those pink ones you probably know what I'm talking about they actually go bad sometimes um, and yeah there's a bunch of other things missing here and there like for example covers for those mirrors and everything so yeah the car still needs a lot of love the car still needs a lot of love and then also I forgot to mention the muffler as you guys know the W126s have the muffler in the middle there's two big mufflers and then it comes out to like two pipes and so that that thing is actually one of one of those mufflers is just rotted away so I'm gonna need to do something about that as well. All right, guys, now it's probably going to be your favorite part. Uh, we're going to talk about the engine transmission, okay? So, oh, wow, this is so bad. Damn. But, yeah, so this engine and transmission are going to be probably coming out as a unit. And what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be refreshing the whole engine, changing the timing chain, uh, both, actually. I want to change the main chain and the oil pump chain. It's very important. Uh, I'm gonna be doing that. Uh, all the gaskets, pretty much everything's gonna be getting refreshed. I'm gonna be doing that all on the on the engine stand, obviously. Uh, and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the transmission. Uh, maybe I'll rebuild it. I don't know if I'm gonna be rebuilding it myself. Maybe I'll probably give it a try. Uh, it's actually not too horrible, you know. You just gotta really pay attention when you rebuild transmissions. It's, there's a lot of small parts in there and all that stuff. It's easy to mess up, but we'll see what, how much time I have and all that. Maybe I'll just let someone do it. I haven't decided that yet, but that's kind of the plan. Uh, everything will need to be refreshed here, washed. Uh, hood pad will need to be put on. And uh, a bunch of other things, I guess. Uh, and then I'll probably, you know, of course, paint the, you know, engine block and all that. And this car actually doesn't have the uh, block heater, so I, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll decide to put one on. Uh, but that's kind of the plan with, with all this stuff, is to refresh pretty much everything. So, yeah, she's waiting for her time to go on that uh, surgery desk to get refreshed. Yeah, but as you guys can see, there's, there's still a lot of work with this car, you know, and it's amazing. You know, it's got like half a million miles on it and it just dries and dries. It's amazing. Of course, I, you know, keep up with the maintenance, you know, whatever it needs. I fix it, you know, you guys can probably check out my, you know, playlist, the 1981 Mercedes W126 playlist. There's so many videos in that playlist that I did on this car already, you know, so much. If, and also, if you guys remember, I did my CV axle boots and all the other stuff. So, yeah. So anyways, that's kind of the plan. I really don't want this video to get too long. So that's why I kind of wanted to talk quickly about some things and I'm sure I missed some of the other things as well. So if anything, you will guys find out at some point whenever I start this restoration project. But that's kind of it for now is for this video. So I'm going to get a, more, a couple more clips for you guys so you guys can enjoy it. Enjoy this beautiful weather here. And like I said, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You know, tell your friends about my channel. You know, let's all save these old school Mercedes because they're amazing. They just deserve love they deserve to live and all of them literally i'm talking about all of them it doesn't matter what shape they're on so let's do that guys if you guys do do me a favor and tell your friends about this you know let's let's get more people you know be interested in these old school mercedes because they are literally truly amazing cars um literally i mean there's still so many of them around the world and 
you know, it's so amazing how many enthusiasts are there, you know, there's not as many enthusiasts of old school BMWs, for example, like there is uh, about, you know, the old school Mercedes and they're so popular. It's just amazing. And how many miles they can drive without any problems and, you know, it's just something, you know, like you cannot like new cars nowadays, they're not the same, unfortunately, you know, like uh, they don't make these, the great, these great cars anymore like they used to. And that's kind of sad about that, but that's why you got to save. We got to save as many of them as possible. You know, we have to really, you guys have to kind of like, you know, um, get this to your brain, you know, kind of like think deep about it. Uh, and yeah, so anyways, enough talking. I'm just gonna, you know, probably end this video right here. Um, and like I said, thank you so much for watching guys. You guys are awesome. We really appreciate your support, all your likes and, you know, comments and everything. And like I said, please, uh, you know, tell your friends about this channel, about my channel, you know, let's all save these old Mercedes. Um, and who knows, someday maybe you guys will, will meet up together. Maybe we'll make a really nice road trip to Alaska or something, you know, in our old school Mercedes. I think that would be an amazing idea, guys. What do you think? We're all driving, you know, on a highway to Alaska, you know, like, I don't know, who knows, maybe like a hundred old, a hundred old school Mercedes or something. That would be pretty awesome, guys. What do you think? So, yeah. But actually, yeah, just so you guys know, uh, I have a plan in the future. Like, it's kind of like a dream plan is I want, I don't know which car I'm going to drive, but I want to gather my friends or whatever, some other people with old school cars. It doesn't really have to be a Mercedes, but it has to be an old school car. And we're actually going to drive all the way from, you know, the mainland to Alaska. So it doesn't matter if you're like in a different state, we can always find a place to meet up for us to for us all to meet up basically and then we can you know drive uh over there all together i think it would be an amazing trip uh, and so many memories so many good nice pictures and videos as well so so much content so let me know what you guys think about that idea and uh, uh if you guys like that idea uh, we're gonna for sure sooner or later we're gonna we're gonna do that we're gonna definitely go on that trip because i really want to myself so anyways guys thank you so much for watching uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you in the next one. Save old school Mercedes. Das Beste oder nichts.